Rustic Browser is a cross-platform Rustic GUI program I found on GitHub for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, currently in beta. Shout out to Amuel for developing this program. Links to this repository will be in the description below. You want to go to Releases and select your OS. In my case, I'm going to be using the beta version in Windows. Go ahead and download that, download that, extract it, and be sure to have Rustic in your system path. Otherwise, it will ask you to browse for the Rustic executable. Now, double click on Rustic Browser, and here's what it looks like. And we just have this button to browse our repository. We can browse our local system as well as FFTP, Amazon S3, Backblaze, and Azure storage. Let's do local first. I'll click browse and locate my repository and I'm here at my web server repository that I have in my backups. I just click select folder and hit OK. It'll load up the repository. Up here we have all of our snapshots. We can organize by time, path, and so forth. Once you find what you're looking for, you have these little buttons here, just I and the download. Clicking on the I icon will actually download the file and store it in your temp folder on your system. Let's look at clicking on the I icon first. You see it's restoring and this is downloading and storing that data to temp and it opens in your default application. Since this is a video, it opens up in Pop Player, which is my default video player. If I want to see where that file is located, I can simply browse to that item and it opens up the temp folder. Now this temp folder gets deleted when you close Rustic Browser. So if you want the file, you want to keep the file, make sure to move it out of temp. If we click download on a file, we'll be asked where we want to save it and I'll save it to my backup drive. And after it's complete, we see a little message here, and I see the file. If you choose to download a folder, for example, files, it'll download as a zip. Select the folder, and it's restoring the files as a zip file. When it's complete, I can extract. And I see all of my files like so. I'll delete these and we'll look at browsing repositories from the cloud. In my case, I'll be using Backblaze. Back at the main menu here, I'll go ahead and select Backblaze B2. And for the bucket, we'll have to specify the bucket name like we would in the terminal. Then you'll need to supply your access keys. And now we're connected to our Backblaze, where we can browse our snapshots. I have one here. Now, browsing through the cloud repositories will be slower, obviously, since we're connected over the network. So keep that in mind. And like before, after you browse through what you want to look for, find the files that you want, you can simply click on the eye icon to open the file. And here it opens up one of my thumbnails or download the file straight to your system, like so.